Yo, we are here to check out Modern vs. Classic Controls, which is better by Maximilian Dude. I love watching Max's videos, man. He always has interesting things to say, especially about fighting games. Before we get into it, I just want to clear something up real quick. A lot of y'all seem to be confused on why I dislike modern controls. First of all, let me throw that out the window because I don't dislike modern controls in general. I am glad they're there. I would not get rid of them. I said as much in my last video. My problem with modern controls is the fact that people use them as a handicap going into high rank. I'm not one of those people that needs to blame or try to find a reason as to why I lost to try to make myself feel better. I'm actually good at video games. I win at video games in general way more often than I lose, regardless of what video game I'm playing, fighting games included. So when I lose, I'm able to say, hey man, you were just better, you all played me. I, I win the next one, it's whatever. Cause I'm not stuck in a state of perpetually losing so many matches that I just gotta find a reason to boost my ego. I don't have one, okay? But my problem with modern controls is it encourages turtling and turtling is a bitch ass strategy in my opinion that nobody respects. I don't care if it's viable. I don't care if it works. It's boring. It's not fun to play against someone who's turtling up the whole time, refusing to engage in the neutral and just sit back and trying to play off of your moves. Just trying to do nothing but whiff punish the entire match. They don't want to actually even engage in neutral at all. They don't want to put on no offense. They just want to play defense the whole damn time. That's boring. No one likes to play against someone who's playing like that. That's whack as fuck. And when you turtle up the whole time and you're playing like that, you know you're being a little asshole. You know you are. Like, you know what you're doing when you do that. And with Street Fighter VI having more defensive options and just ways to get pressure to hell up off you than any Street Fighter in history, this game kind of encourages turtling up, but especially so when you're using modern controls, which means that you have not only faster execution speed than anybody else, but you also have perfect execution. You can't fuck up. You literally can't mess up. So again, use as a teaching tool to learn the game, no problem with it. But if you use the modern controls in high rank, I hate you. And again, some of y'all are gonna completely ignore my first point about the fact that I win way more than I lose and I would never blame a loss on the type of controls that the person I'm going against is using. But y'all are still gonna go in the comments and say, you only hate my controls because you can't beat them. You niggas are a special type of stupid. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out, man. Ultimately, I don't got no problem with modern controls. I just think that if you use modern controls in high rank, that you are indeed leaning on a crutch and use a little bitch. <laughs> but with that out of the way, let's see how Max feels about this topic. He probably feels differently than me. I'm my own person, I got my own opinions. Without further ado, let's get it. Yeah. Modern controls. Uh-huh. After a month of playing the game, I can tell you at the, at the later portion of Diamond Rank, I did not run into nearly anybody using modern controls. They That's how I should be. Away completely. Are they okay. bad? They're not. They're actually pretty good. Uh -huh. and they're helping out a lot of people be okay at Street Fighter. But here's my argument. Okay. We're going to talk about classic versus modern and also controller versus arcade stick because Ooh. I think they share some similarities. So let's first That's a big topic too. I've had a lot of discussions on that. There are people that swear by arcade sticks. They swear it will be better. I've made the argument plenty of times that just because you're playing on an arcade stick doesn't automatically equate to you being better. It's kind of the same thing about uh, PC users. You know, PC Master Race users that play first-person shooter games swear by keyboard and mouse, right? But then there'll be dudes who are like top ranked in the goddamn nation in like Call of Duty and they use a damn controller. So it's like, it just depends. But there are things you can do with keyboard and mouse that you just can't do with a controller. So like, Keyboard mouse would be superior if you reach a certain level of skill, but you know, that's not the topic. So let's go ahead and move Let's talk about modern controls. I have not mm -hmm. played with them at all, but they're doing what they need to do, which is to get people to play Street Fighter. They right. They also have a caveat, right? We know that they take away attacks. Mm -hmm. We know that they, they nerf damage. Right. Let's bring it back beyond that. Cause yeah, modern controls are actually good even at high level. Uh -huh. Some characters really benefit from some modern controls. Yes. Sure. And Facts. there is a couple of things at high level. AKA. Zan Geefs and people like that being able to immediately jumping SPD. Oh my God, I hate it. I hate it. But I hate Zangief in general, even no matter what rank we're playing at. Classics using Zangief. I just don't like going against Zangief. Nobody likes going against grapplers. Only grapplers like grapplers. <laughs> that make them good. Uh, Let's talk about the actual reason behind it. And the okay. reason behind modern controls. Why would the game have modern controls? To learn a game. You can't do special moves in Street Fighter. Ultimately, they've balanced it where it can be usable for even the highest level, even if you know how to do the special moves. But let's be real. Uh -huh. Modern controls exist because you uh -huh. can't do a dragon uh -huh. punch, you can't do a fireball, you can't do a reverse fireball. You cannot do these motions. Uh -huh. A lot of people still, of the 2 million people that have bought Street Fighter 6 now, just can't do the special moves consistently. And it's funny because I know I know a person, I was trying to teach him how to do a quarter circle, simplest move in this world, bro. Quarter circle forward punch. I was trying to teach him how to do it on Dragon Ball Fighters. He just could not do it, bro. He couldn't do it. He just could not get, he just could not 
tap the down button, slide his thumb over to the forward button and hit the punch. He just couldn't get it. I'm like, bro, it's one quarter circle forward. What the hell? I, he definitely wasn't going to be able to get no double quarter circle forward. That's crazy. As a person who's played video games all my life, I guess it's kind of foreign to me that some people wouldn't be able to execute simple ass commands like that. But like, yeah. But in modern controls, yeah, you literally, you could be, you could be dumb. You could be an idiot and execute the commands perfectly every time. So they're bad at it. SPDs, like whatnot. Yeah, SPDs, there's an argument there because SPDs is technically a difficult motion. Yeah, it's a circle fun motion. Fun. Here's the funny thing about people complaining about modern controls. Uh oh. The funny thing about Here we go. all the complaints that happen is uh -huh. that these are 100% from low ranks. Mm -hmm. Right. This is like a silver. If you're complaining that modern controls are the reason people are beating you, yes, I agree. Again, I'm not really complaining about modern controls. I beat people regardless of what control type they're using. I'm not down to silver, nigga. I'm in high rank. But all I'm saying is, I don't like when y'all be using bronze, maybe gold. Some of those players <laughs> are complaining that they're running into too many people using modern controls. And that's why they're losing. They see somebody fighting with modern controls and they think that is absolute bullshit. <laughs> I have to work for my special moves. And they don't. And you don't. Mm -hmm. you piece of shit bitch. <laughs> What's funny about that to me mm -hmm. is that people look at special moves being free to use on modern controls as <laughs> Doing special moves means that you're good at Street Fighter. The yeah. majority of people at lower ranks see modern controls and think that if this guy is doing easy special moves, fuck, <laughs> I'm doing what is actually difficult. Dragon punches, mm -hmm. and SPDs, and fireballs. And sure use. I'm good at Street Fighter. I can do these things. <laughs> people actually think that doing special moves makes you good at Street Fighter. It doesn't. And that's what that's what I'm trying to get, boil this down to. Mm -hmm. No. Because you know how to do special moves does not make you good at Street Fighter. That's this a fact. It really reminds me of the same exact thing going back to Street Fighter 4, where everyone complained that I cannot do one frame link combos. Oh, yeah. That is the reason I'm bad at Street Fighter. That is what it had one, one frame, frame links. Link combos. Street Fighter 4. I will, I will never use modern controls. I will, I will do my special inputs manually because that is very hard to do. <laughs> this is a sentiment that's echoing from people that that are relatively God damn it, Manon with that super duper damage like grab. Really good at them, which exists. The the, the basement warrior existed for games like Soul <laughs> back in the day. The basement warrior. So modern controls upsetting people come mm -hmm. from a mentality where you feel like doing special moves is what makes you good at Street Fighter. Uh huh. Literally not that. Like, who cares if you know how to do? Anybody at high level is like, who cares if you know how to do special moves? Yeah. That's not the thing. You, you ain't just gonna be able to just get it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta play the neutral correctly to even set up for the special moves anyway. If you just throwing out empty special moves, obviously you're not gonna hit them. Again, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna harken to it too much because I've already said my piece. But again, I'm not complaining that. I lose because of modern controls. That's not that's not the situation with me. I just think it's a crutch, and I just think that if you play like a little turtle, if you use modern controls but you engage the neutral, I literally don't care. But again, most modern control users they they fucking turtle up and play like little hoes, and that's why I don't like it. That's modern why I don't like it. Good is like free cross cut DPS, sure, uh -huh. negation of special moves, and also being able to do supers with one fucking button. That is uh -huh. good. Okay, that that is the thing that makes modern controls actually good is immediate supers and immediate level threes for reactions. Right. People at lower level aren't using it for that shit, dude. True. People are just using modern controls so they can actually do the special moves they can. I mean, I'm not in low level anymore, so. Then their so. fingers don't bleed when they like- I got out of low level like the first hour so to me, the of the game being out. Against modern controls is completely bogus. And I boil down into the argument that like, I'm fine with it if people are just playing the game. Mm -hmm. I've been beaten by people using modern controls in Diamond. I don't give a shit. Yeah, me too. It wasn't the modern controls that made them good, dude. Right. They just, they outzoned me. Mm -hmm. They played proper spacing and footsies. They teched my throws. They DI'd my ass in the corner. Fucking E-Honda. There's plenty of other Yo. things that fuck teched my throws. I never thought about that. Using, uh, they hold on, was he? Oh, no, never mind. That's not, yes, that's, that's, that's not uh, consistent. I was going to say, I've never thought about using my drive impact to like move away from E-Honda's little sit down attack, but no, that's not going to be consistent. Because to be honest, he didn't even mean to do that. In the corner. Never mind. Ignore me. There's plenty of other things that fucked me up in that round outside of them using modern controls. There's uh -huh. so many caveats to modern controls anyway that I don't, I, the, the, it, 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 it nerfs the game. In several ways, it actively nerfs the game. And in only some very very minor high level case scenarios is modern controls actually good speaking mm -hmm. about modern and classic versus 
arcade stick and you know one of these they moving on that quick okay I, like I have to i have to talk about this every once in a while when it comes to, to fighting games because you get the question of like do i play with the modern layout or do <laughs> i play with the you know classic layout excuse my arcade stick it's literally falling apart using an arcade stick and being good with it is kind of just a flex thing it looks good you know what i'm saying if you can pick up an arcade stick and you you know pressing the buttons and moving the stick around it looks cool it, just, it, it really does it looks cooler than a controller but use whatever you feel comfortable using bro it really don't matter being good with an arcade stick isn't going to automatically make you better than with a controller and please understand that some people will still argue that if you're using one of these you're like a bitch ass scrub right not as much anymore because some of the best players in the world use controller it's kind of gone away so that mentality is, is all still them japanese sort of players still use arcade sticks because that's what they do over there in the arcades baby and why does that exist and i've explained this before it exists because you spent 150 dollars on an arcade stick you're not specifically good at street fighter you think that the arcade stick's gonna make you good you need to justify your purchase <laughs> right so that a lot that you using a controller makes you a bitch ass scrub oh right? my gosh the way you using modern controls makes you a bitch ass scrub so my baby cammy what controller do you need to use for street fighter 6 whatever's easier dude there are things that make fighting games easier mm. on pad there are mm. things that make fighting mm. games easier on stick max is so There's nice bro fighting game i like playing Woo! button fighting game gotcha. on stick but you can change that with modern controls i would love to play max i know he'd probably beat me completely preference. i'd love to play him 100% preference. Mm. I just like arcade stick because there's a lot of motion, movement, and mobility with my hands. Uh -huh. I feel like I'm back at the arcades in some way. Yeah. So I like that. I, I like the fact Max grew up in the 80s, so it makes sense. I am preserving... I was born in the 80s. And I said this in the 80s. before. Arcade sticks aren't really here specifically to make you better at Street Fighter. They're they're just preserving a legacy, right? Uh -huh. It's kind of a, a remembrance back to arcade days. And if you like the arcade style controls then you like to stick available in some way because my homie actually plays with an arcade stick and he's really good with it he's, he's been practicing with arcade stick not his entire life but he's been he's been using one for a few years now and yeah he's, he's really good with it he uses an arcade stick whenever we play street fighter six so you know what i'm saying they don't really make no difference it's whatever you're more comfortable playing with because there is other ways that will make you actually better at fighting games like hitbox and stuff like that there is a statistic yeah those are like they ban hitboxes like in hitbox some competitions in some way, so those are like yeah, cheating there to an is extent an echo of similarity between people that bitch about i don't use modern controls those guys are scrubs to the same way that <laughs> there has been in the past i don't use a controller those guys are scrubs and see i never call modern control users scrubs i just say that you're leaning on a crutch you are and I, you, you a little hoe if you play using a high rank. I, that's just how I feel. It's an arcade stick because I'm good at the game, right? All it comes down is people are trying to justify their lower skill level. And why they lose. In a game in some way and trying to like make up for it. People and will do it, that. Right? And I don't do that. I've fucking been there, bro. Back in the day. I, I definitely was a person back in the third strike days where if somebody showed up with a with a, with a uh, controller, you grabbed all your friends, you took them out to the, uh, to, took them out to the back. <laughs> this is a joke, by the way. Wow. A bloody pulp. The fact that he got to put that is so annoying. 2023. just left their body there. That's just the way it worked back in the day. Mm -hmm. I get it. I've grown up now, right? I've grown up now, so we, we don't do that <laughs> shit anymore. Right. Those are the arcade days. <laughs> Beat people up in the alley. Fighting games are trying to become accessible. That's not a problem. Yeah. All fighting games are going to become easier than the one before. Like, almost every single one. As mm -hmm. long as the game expands in a way that allows for new things and new creative elements for the player to express themselves mm -hmm. and still offers a certain level of challenge to it, whether it's decision-making, like Street Fighter Six is the perfect example of that. Nothing in Street Fighter right. Six is really hard. It's just a lot of decision-making that's really difficult. Right, and a lot of execution. And again, you're, you're not going to be... Because you're not going to be not that good at the game and using modern controls and beat someone who's really good at the game because you're using modern controls. It's just not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You still got to be good at the game. You still got to know what you're doing. It's just that, you know, when you know what you're doing, you can't fuck up. Like, if I were to switch over to modern control users, there's times where I mess up in matches where I mess up execution. If I were to switch over to modern and learn modern, bro, and be perfect with execution, I'd, I'd win more. I'd, I feel that way anyway, personally, about myself. I'd win even more than I do already. And again, I already win more than I lose. Like, every, like, three or four matches I play, I win two or three. But I guess two out of four would be half, wouldn't it? But I, I never, I don't really too much go on losing streaks. I don't know. Like I said, I'm pretty good at the game. I'm not like a, a beast or anything, but I'm, I'm decent. That's I'm all right. That's you know what I'm saying? I'm all right. Wonderful. If any of y'all want to test it, we can. We can do for, for we games. And I think it's wonderfully accessible 
that way you can still have modern controls and I can still run into a person or two in diamond ranks on my way to master and have them beat me. And I don't look at modern controls as the thing that beat me. Right, you should. It was the spacing, it uh -huh. was the knowledge, it yep. was the matchup, it was all the other things in the exact same way that, trust me, dude, <laughs> if you were bad at Street Fighter Four, it wasn't the fact that you couldn't do one frame links. Justin <laughs> Wong on modern controls is a menace. Does Jay Wong use modern controls? I want you to, from that sentence, I want you to remove modern controls. On modern controls. Because Justin Wong is a menace regardless. So becomes Justin Wong is a goddamn menace. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Justin Wong using any fucking controller ever is a goddamn menace. Will beat the shit out of almost everybody. Yeah. One of the greatest fighting game players to ever grace the genre. Who? Is a menace using modern controls like or classic one. controls. I'm really not surprised. Uh huh. <laughs> I thought I was gonna mention like Sonic Fox or somebody. I don't know what Sonic Fox uses. But uh, yeah, man, like I said, it seems to me that Max was pretty much saying the same thing that I was saying. Because again, a lot of y'all got it misconstrued to think that I was complaining about modern control users because I can't beat them. Beating them is never the problem. It's just the way that they play. It's annoying. I could play around it and still win the match, but I, I didn't have fun. When I play against somebody that's playing like a turtle, it's not fun. I didn't enjoy the match. I'm not the kind of person that blacklists people. I don't put people on the blacklist or I don't want to play this dude again. I don't do that shit, bro. I really don't. But, you know, I like to play. I like to have fun when I play my game. That's why, for the most part, whenever I, when a, when a, when a game gets to a point where the meta way to play is like a way that's not enjoyable for me, I just play with the homies. I just play with the homies. Cause like, I know my homies ain't gonna play like little assholes. You know what I mean? We're gonna engage in the neutral. We're gonna really get these hands going. I ain't finna sit back and you ain't finna sit back and fucking corner crowd. Like the Guiles. You know, we've all played against a Guile that'll just do nothing but crouch in the corner, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Just waiting for you to try to jump over boom so they can flash kick back in the corner cross mode. Boom, boom. I know that's the way that gals play, but that's not fucking fun. You're not going to sit up here and tell me that you have fun when you play against a gal that's playing like that. And I wanted to like JP so bad, but JP is just running from you the entire fucking match. I hate that character now. I hate it. But, you know, it's even easier to do on modern when you really can't fuck up inputs. But that's going to be for, that's going to be it for this video, bro. That is it. I just wanted to see what Max felt about it. He feels the same way I feel. Modern controls are a great thing. They don't make you better just because you're using modern controls, but they do make it so that if you play in a specific way, like turning up, he didn't mention this, but if you play in a specific way, like turning it up, you do have an advantage. There are things you are giving up, but there are things you gain, such as perfect execution and speed of execution. And that just cannot be denied. It's a crutch in high rank. In low rank, it really don't matter, I guess, because everyone's ass. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you show a lot of love the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, I am up out of this thing. It's your boy Darryl. We signing out. Hey. Yeah.